So now let's talk about the density and void analysis of this compacted bituminous mix. Let us assume that this is our bituminous specimen with aggregates and then bituminous mix and then also some amount of air voids. Okay, so this is our specimen containing aggregates, bitumen and air voids. If we try to draw a phase diagram of this specimen, then how will it look like? Suppose this much amount of the volume has been taken by our aggregates. Let us denote it by Vm. Now we know that there is some volume of or bituminous binders used in this specimen and let us call this volume as VB volume of the bituminous binder and now there is some volume of air voids in them let us call VV volume of voids volume of bitumen and volume of aggregates now after drawing this phase diagram let's talk about the volume of bitumen we know that when you try to mix the bitumen with mineral aggregates some amount of bitumen gets absorbed by the aggregates into them. The aggregate try to absorb the bitumen and this volume, let us say this volume as VAB, volume of the binder absorbed by the aggregates. Okay, now this much amount is absorbed by the aggregates and this much amount is left which is filled between the aggregates. So let us say this much amount of bitumen is VFB, volume of the binder filled between the aggregates. Okay, and VV is the volume of voids. First of all, let's write all the terms down. VV, volume of voids. VB, volume of binder. VM, volume of aggregates and filler. VAB, volume of binder absorbed by the aggregates VPF volume of binder in parts of the mineral aggregates so therefore VB will be equal to VPF or VFP plus VAB volume of the binder absorbed by the aggregates and volume of the binder filled between the aggregates is the total volume of the binder used in our specimen. If there would be no binder, then how will you calculate the total amount of voids present in this specimen? Okay, and this volume of void in mineral aggregates is calculated by VMA is equal to total volume minus volume of aggregates. VMA is called as volume of mineral aggregates. So now you have found out the volume of mineral aggregates. How will you calculate the volume of air voids in the mix? It will be calculated by total volume minus volume of aggregates plus volume of bitumen filled between the aggregates. So now the volume of air voids in the mix is calculated by total volume minus volume of aggregates minus volume of bitumen filled between the aggregates we have not taken the volume absorbed by the aggregates as this volume is absorbed by the aggregates and it is not making any sense to deduct the volume of absorbed aggregates from this equation so the volume of air voids is given by total volume minus volume of aggregates minus the volume of bitumen filled between the aggregates and after that, how will you find out the volume of voids filled with bitumen? How will you find out that? It is called VFB. <clears throat> if we take a look at our phase diagram, this is the volume of aggregates. This is the total volume of binder. This is the volume absorbed by the aggregates. And this is the volume left, VBF. So it can be written as V minus VV minus vm can we can we write it as v minus vv minus vm and we know that v minus vm is equal to vma minus vv is equal to volume of voids filled with bitumen and if he says to find the voidless volume of the paving mix then it is denoted by v minus vv voidless volume of paving mix okay now 
let's talk about the density and specific gravity of the materials suppose g1 g2 g3 g4 are the specific gravities of coarse aggregates fine aggregates filler and bituminous binder so the theoretical specific gravity of the bituminous mix gt will be given as gt is equal to 100 divided by w1 by g1 plus w2 by g2 plus w3 by g3 plus w4 by g4 so the theoretical specific gravity of specimen is given as 100 divided by w1 by g1 where g1 g2 g3 g4 are the specific gravities of coarse aggregates fine aggregates filler and the bituminous binder and w1 w2 w3 the four are the percentage by weight of coarse aggregates fine aggregates filler material and the bituminous binder okay if he says to find out the voidless specific gravity then it is given as gt equals to w divided by v minus vv there are two more formulas if we ask you to find out the void of mineral aggregate percentage then you will write it as vma percent is equal to vv plus vb and if we ask you percentage of voids filled with bitumen then we will say it as 100 vb by vma now there are some specified values for the mixed design that are suggested by morth for bituminous concrete and dense bituminous macadam and which are given as the first one the stability should be minimum of 900 kg second flow value should be between 2 to 4 mm third one is air voids should be between 3 to 6 percent however 4 percent is considered to be best for bituminous mix design and finally the fourth one is the void filled with bitumen per in percentage it is between 65 to 75 percent we want 65 to 75 percent of the voids that they should be filled by bitumen in case the mixed design does not fulfill any one or more of the design requirements the gradation of the aggregates or filler content or bitumen content or combination of these are altered and the mixed design tests are repeated till all the requirements are simultaneously fulfilled.